Hey guys, I'm back uh, doing an unboxing at the shop. I was going to do shout outs in this video. I just don't have my list with me. I wasn't planning on doing the unboxing for this at the shop. I was going to be doing it at home, but circumstances change. I'm surrounded by cool toys. I just want to show you like inventory stuff, doing inventory stuff. Yeah. Um, fun, fun. Um, so anyway, we got battle box. Um, came pretty early this month. Pretty happy with that, especially after the wait for last month. So I think that we should get into this little ZT action with us today. And we'll see what we've got for April 2019. And there might be some excited children running in and out of this room. There might be some excited adults running in and out of this room. I don't know. It's weird. Usually the cards are like right on top. Like right here. Is this a parachute? Is this a T10? What is this? Where's my card? Why is my card under this stuff? That's just bizarre. But, okay. So, by Rascal, the guys that brought us our bow from last month, this very well might be a reserve shoot. Not big enough to be a, a main shoot. Oh, it's a backpack. Well, let's, let's look at the card. Okay. So, we've got Mission 50. Versatile Loadout. It's interesting. Okay. Cool. Let's see what's in Versatile Loadout. So, um, I gotta go over how Battlebox works. If you're already familiar and you already know about it, I'll give you a time code to skip. I've got a referral link for Battlebox in the video description. If you like what you see and you are thinking about signing up for Battlebox, and I always say this, I'm not trying to sell you Battlebox, but if you want to sign up anyway, I've got a, a link you can use that'll save you a little bit of money signing up and it helps my channel out too, so you can use it or not. But I mean, if you don't like Battlebox, you don't like Battlebox. That's all up to you. But anyway, um, so here's where you can skip to if you already know how the different levels work and all that and you just want to get to when we start unboxing. So Battlebox has different levels. There's a basic advanced pro and pro plus. Pro and pro plus are the same, except pro plus is the knife of the month. So um, the big difference is you get the selected knife of the month with pro plus. When you get a level other than basic, you get that and everything that comes before it. So like when you get the pro plus, you get everything here. And that's what I subscribe to. I pay $150 a month, you know, $149.99, and I get everything on the card. Uh, if you get the advanced, for example, you get everything here in basic and everything in advanced and, and so on and so on. So all these values here are MSRP values. So when they say the value, it's MSRP. Very often you can find this stuff if you hunt for it for a, a, a lower um, actual you know value that you would pay for. Um, but this is their MSRP value that they've listed on that card. So that is, that is how it, all the different levels work. Um, and, you know, I don't know the... I don't know the subscription price off the top of my head. They just changed it. They increased the prices a little bit for some of the lower levels. Um, but anyway, we're, we're going to do the Pro Plus, so we're going to see everything in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox the box. We're going to go straight down the card, uh, starting with the basic box, all the way down to the Pro Plus, the knife of the month, and see what we've got and put it in our like it, meh, and don't like it piles. Okay, before we start, um, we've got a 25% off coupon for Going Gear. It's a website. I've seen it. They've got some decent stuff on there. So all backpacks um, and all flashlights. Backpacks, flashlights. Cool. So we're going to start in the basic box, which this month um, has a total MSRP value of $60.91. We're going to start with the Nebo Larry 2 flashlight. Patriot Armory and Coatings happens to be a Nebo distributor. We have lots of Nebos around. Um, Nebo makes some really good products, actually. Some very good lights. I haven't seen the Nebo 2. This is very different from what I've seen uh, in terms of Nebo. Does it have a laser? A laser? Sweet. All right. Any instructions or no? No documents in here? Um, looks like it does come with batteries. All right. I made that one mistake one time where I thought it said batteries included and it said batteries not included. And uh, the internet will not let me forget that. Um, for the life of me, I can't get these batteries out, though. Just curious. Okay, whatever. Batteries are in there. Um, so, I'll tell you, this is, um, this is not 
as solid feeling as some of the other Nebos that I've held. So obviously, you know, here we're not going to have the brightest light. Um, so there's a protective coating over this laser. Let me get it off. Okay, so single on off switch. You have a metal clip. I'm sorry, you have a magnetic clip. And the magnetics in Nebos are usually pretty good. As I'm saying, it's usually pretty good. Thanks for making me look like an idiot Nebo. All right. Um, magnetic swivel clip, so you can position it kind of how you want. Um, hmm. The first click does nothing. Second click also does nothing. Oh, does it not work now that it dropped? Well, fantastic then. That is just awesome. It took a little bit of a spill and it seems to not be working at all now. Not to mention getting these batteries out is like... All right, let's put these batteries back in. You know why my little battery holding tube is bent. This is, this is phenomenal all the way around. I like Nebo. Um, there we go. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so, ready? First click gives you your laser. And, um, I'm trying it all around the room right now. I'll shine it in the bathroom over in the corner and you might be able to see and you might not. You lose your, your pinpoint resolution there as it goes farther. Um, here it is right against the wall. But I mean, you have a laser on it. I don't know, maybe it was a pinpoint dot until I dropped it. You got a laser, so you all. got a cat, you're set. That's all you need in life, laser and cat. You can't adjust the focus or anything, but... And then with your second click, it goes to light, sorry. And, um, you have a fairly bright LED. Now, there's nothing on here. I have to, you know, I'll look up specs and if I see lumens or anything, I'll put it in. So, you know, I like, I like Nebo stuff. I'm not entirely impressed. Here's the Nebo Big Larry. Uh, you know, one of the things, you know, in the product line. Um, can you turn off lights? So I'm trying not to shine right on the... So you can see that the Big Larry is way more multifunctional than this guy is. Um, it's also aluminum, magnetic base that doesn't fall off of stuff. Shake it around, yeah. It's, uh, it seems like there's just one magnet in there at the top that holds the whole thing. And there it falls again. Yeah, it's gonna work? Nope, it's gonna work. All right. Um, you know, it's not a bad flashlight. I'm just, I'm gonna put it in math just because uh, they could have put a little, uh, little Larry, which is very similar to this. Um, it doesn't have the laser, but it's uh, aluminum. It's tougher. Um, here you go, just got my hands on the little Larry, which again, um, light, dim light, Flashing red, um, lightweight, magnetic base, um, and I think that the uh, actual bright light from Little Larry is as bright, if not brighter, than the Larry Two. So I think this would have been a great choice for the box. I don't know what the price difference is. Um, they say that the Larry Two is nineteen ninety nine MSRP. There, I, I believe them that it's you know. Not that expensive because it's, it's all plastic. Uh, I don't know, but there you go. So this is going to go on matte, just because it's not as good as, I mean, it's, it's I, I don't need the laser as much as I need good, reliable light that is going to not fall off of things. So matte. Next, the Going Gear Cleaning Mat for $13.99. And this actually looks like this has some potential as a pretty good item. Um, you know, they should 
I've been looking over the card, maybe call this the going gear box with all the going gear stuff they have. Uh, but it smells kind of funny, but I like this mat because of number one, I thought it would hold on to the table a little bit better, but if you're putting stuff on there, nice rubbery areas for all of your, you know, pieces that you're putting there, um, any kind of oils or fluids can drip down into uh, this honeycomb here and not stay up here slicking up what you're working on. Um, in terms of, you know, for knives, working on knives especially, this is great because it gives you places to put, like when you're taking stuff apart, pivots, frame screws, um, you know, uh, clip screws, all that different areas and different parts. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Um, so this cleaning mat is actually a pretty good idea. It's probably pretty easy to clean off too. I don't know what kind of solvents would, would affect this or not. I can't place what it's made of based on the smell. It's a weird smell, but it's a nice mat. I like the mat. So the mat can go and like it. Uh, even though Larry too went in mat. Next up, Flitz Knife and Metal Polish, $13.95. This stuff is good stuff. If you haven't used this before, this is, this is good stuff. I'm not gonna open it right now. Um, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. This is really good stuff. Military, you, you get very familiar with Brasso, and that is your polish for everything all the time. If we had Flitz, our inspections would have gotten us awards and everything else. This is great for all sorts of stuff. It not only polishes, it, it's like a really good protectant too. Um, I haven't used it on paint. It says restores paint. I've only ever used it on like knife blades. It doesn't have, uh, it's not like one of those cutting polishes that has like the little abrasive stuff in it that you find in some places. Uh, it just, it's a really good polish um, for a lot of different stuff. So knife care, this goes great with the mat. You can use this really well on your, um, uh, what am I thinking of? Your washers, for your washers and your liners. So if you've got a knife and it's a little sluggish and you want to improve its uh, function a little bit, strip it down, use it to polish the washers on both sides and use it to polish the uh, area of the blade where it comes in contact and the, uh, the liners are in, get that all polished up and that I guarantee will give you a little bit of action improvement. Flitz is a great polish for that. So. Like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it in the package. I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna use it. But this definitely goes and like it. This is really good stuff. I love flits. You should love flits too. So two items I'd like. Next we've got P and G water purification packets. We've got four of them for $3.99. Water purification product I have never used. Um, so let's take a look. Each packet treats 10 liters, two and a half gallons of water. In the box, they give you a large set of instructions. On the back of each one, you've got a little set of instructions, which is cool, but they also give you this large informational thing, which is cool too. So I guess part of this purification process also involves having some kind of cloth uh, to filter through, which makes it a very good filter, I guess, but um, do not drink water do not drink if water is yellow in color. I think that's great advice for any water, not just water that you've purified. So this is cool, assuming you have the resources to do that. There is water purification where you do not need to pour it through a, a filtering device. Now, I'm not saying that that's a, a bad thing. There's lots of different, you know, take survival courses where they teach different methods of filtering with different particulates and uh, you know, the, the old sand, rocks, pebbles, charcoal method and things like that. Um, I guess this eliminates a lot of that and you just put this in and then pour it through um, some kind of cotton. I'm just, I'm really curious how this works. So $10 for four gallons of water is, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, for purifying in an emergency. So I'll put these in like it. Um, they don't seem overly hard to use. The one thing I would, I would say about them is that, you know, you, you can't use these in small batches. Um, or they're not measured for that anyway. If you want to sit and measure out, you know, one liter measurements of each one, you can do that, I guess, and repackage it. But I'm still, I'm still going to put these in like it. So there's that. And then the last thing in the basic box for this month is Off Grid Magazine. 
for June and July of 2019. So I guess they um, went into the future, grabbed a magazine, because it's barely April. And I've never heard of, of this particular magazine myself. It feels like it is coated with, I don't know what. Um, but we've got an Apache right there, so that's cool. Um, and on the cover, we've got flashlights, an ICBM, potatoes, and a nuclear power plant. And I just think that's cool. So that's good. And this guy looks like he's ready to fight in Far Cry. So, you know, I'm going to have to take a look at this um, extensively and figure out how I feel about this. Um, I don't know what we're looking at here. Um, these are surface terror missiles, not nuclear missiles. Uh, and they're not particularly good ones. Those are SA-3s, by the way. I'm not afraid of SA-3s. I mean, not unless you screw up majorly. Um, so it's you know interesting magazine. I guess uh, I'm not I'm not really sure. Oh look, a big battle box ad right there on the on, on the table of contents. Uh, it's in I, you know I haven't seen a magazine like this in there um, in one of these boxes. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, you can't say that they overvalued it because there it is right there. I, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I'll read it. I'll check it out. Usually with something like this, they'll give you like a discount for a subscription or, or, or whatnot. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to put this in meh or like it. I mean, it's interesting reading material, I guess. I'm probably going to put it in meh because, you know, I, it's just not something I would, I would pick out myself. And it's not, I don't know. It's just... It's not battle box. It's it's not this is this is battle box, not library box or reading box. And yeah, they've given us books before, but that's like an an, an encompassing you know all around the topic, not a monthly periodical with a few articles. I mean, it's it's just my opinion. You can differ. Uh, maybe maybe those of you who you know have more experience with the magazine can chime in and, and say how good it is or you know how complete it is, how well they cover topics, I don't know. But that's everything in your basic box, which they say has a value of $60.91 this month. Let's move into the advanced. So the advanced, remember, includes all this basic stuff. And now we're going to start with the Going Gear USB AA rechargeable batteries for $22.99. I saw these and they look pretty interesting and I've been waiting to get to them. So I have a lot of rechargeable batteries, but all of them require a specific battery charger, you know, that you plug them into. I think this looks pretty interesting where you open it up and you just plug it into a USB itself, which is, is I gotta say, pretty nifty. I think that's, um, that's handy. I think most of us have more USB uh, receptacles than we have battery chargers. And that's really cool, actually. I'm excited to use these. Uh, you know, this is, normally I would say something like, well, this isn't what I expect in BattleBox, but you know what? With all the flashlights and other little electronic, well, electronics that we might have, um, that we'd want to take with us on some kind of adventure or emergency, I think this is awesome. And the fact that it's USB rechargeable means that we can use this with a lot of our solar chargers or um, you know, any kind of emergency devices that also have a USB output. I think this is great. As for the price, $22.99, you know what? I, I can't argue that because I don't know any better, but I think that you're paying for a, a kind of a convenience here. Um, I don't know anything about the Going Gear brand itself or, or who actually produces this for them. But the truth is, you know, I like this. I think this is a great idea. I like this a lot. And I think that now I understand a little bit better why we have, and is this the next item? It is, for $5.99, the Going Gear USB 4-port charging hub. Now, originally, I was thinking to myself, what the hell is this doing in a battle box? But it makes perfect sense now so that you can plug in all four of your USB rechargeable batteries at once and charge them all up at the same time. If it wasn't for these batteries, I would say this is just, what are they, what are they doing? They're out of their minds. But this plus this as a combo makes a lot of sense. I might have, just saying, throwing this out there, put these together as one item with a combined value and put an extra item in the box. I don't know if I'd list these as two separate items 
because, I mean, obviously these could stand alone as their own item in Battle Box, but this in Battle Box without these is just stupid. Uh, but these together, I'm going to judge these as one item, and I'm going to put them both in like it because I think that this has a lot of this. I mean, this is a great idea. There's a lot of rechargeable batteries that out in the field somewhere without the proper charger would be useless, but these give us options. Now, these won't fit into a lot of the different rechargeable uh, lights and stuff that we have, but these would fit in a lot of commercial off-the-shelf stuff. So, nice work. This definitely goes in like it. And that's half the advanced box right there. The other two products in the advanced box go together as well. One of them is free. See what I mean? See what I'm saying? They go together, free. So the Real Steel Alien Neck Neck Knife. Real Steel, great brand, they make great stuff. I really like them. Um, so what do we have here now? On the back, let's see there's uh, two different kinds. We've got a little bit of a recurve blade, I guess, going on. Not a big fan of neck knives, but this one looks like it might be big enough to be used for some real utility value anyway. So I have not seen a real steel yet that didn't come with a cool cleaning cloth. And explanation of different locking systems and how to, uh, what puts them together, I guess, which is kind of cool. Different knives, okay, but this has nothing to do with ours right here, nothing at all. And I see no documentation for this thing whatsoever. It's a nice heavy felt pouch it comes in. And we've got Kydex, and we've got a neck chain, but we also have this clip, which is free. So the knife for $47.99, and then free clip. Totally unrelated. You know why I'm so excited? Because in the shop today, you know what? Bond. James Bond. Yeah, that's right. I can be James Bond today. This is what a customer brought in. This is sweet. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to what we're doing. So after a little struggling with the thread locker they put on there that didn't want to let this screw go in and some assistance, um, I got it in there. Um, so now, nice clip though. Clip will hold. Nice Kydex. That is a, a pretty nice blade. A little thin, but you know, you've got your fire steel nick in there. Good jimping. Very, very light. Very light. No um, steel mark or whatever, but you know, I'll, I'll have all the, the text and everything. Um, super light. Awesome. Very, very nice. And our usual tests start with pull through like there's nothing there at all and the slice I can't imagine will be any different yeah like the blade doesn't even move so while not a neck knife guy this is actually a pretty nice knife with a really nice recurve blade for a lot of different things I mean super super light I almost feel like it's so light I feel like it's titanium but that wouldn't be a good blade at all but really nice Stone wash finish and everything. This absolutely has to go and I like it for sure. Especially since they went and gave us the clip for free. I mean, it comes with the chain. If you want to wear it as a neck knife, it would weigh nothing around your neck. Um, I'll probably put a nice little lanyard on it and just wear it, you know, if I take it out, wear it on a belt or um, on just uh, on a hip or whatever, but it's, it's nice. I, I would like to use it and get familiar with it. But it also comes with this really nice pouch to keep it in. So, cool. And that's everything in the advanced box, which that plus that equals 145.83. Let's move into the Pro with a, uh, there's only one item, the Rascal Archer I, I Wish I Was a Parachute Backpack for $59.99. Brings the complete value to 205.82. I'm going to move to the floor for this one so we have plenty of room to look at it. And I'm a dirty, dirty liar, because I didn't feel like readjusting the tripod and everything else. Um, we're just going to use the countertop here. So. 
So this is pretty heavy duty right here. Um, that is serious stuff. Wow, like I, that's, yeah. Okay, it was a little jammed at first, but it, it does work exactly as it should. Cool. So let's just, you know what, let's start on the other side. Decently padded straps. Nice stitching. Um, I don't like these kind of adjustments. They tend to, yeah, slip at first, but once you have weight on them and you're going, not bad. I don't want to do the tug test up here because I don't want to smack metal into this glass. Uh, so you got some outside pouches that are tied shut. Interesting choice. Oh, they're also Velcroed. Okay, so it's just a secondary. Wow, not much room in these, these external pouches there. But they're there. You can put stuff in them. Okay. And then one long one. So this is kind of reminds me of my Voodoo Tactical Pack, which has the same setup. Two shorter pouches and then one long pouch. Um, now, they say it's an archer's pack. So, I mean, that's what they, they say. It's a, you know, put arrows, you know, unfolded in here or whatever. Um, inside, so a nice little zippered pouch right on the top. Everything is very secure here. Let's see. Cinching to go along with it. There's a carry strap. Not a huge backpack, not not really at all, but padding in the back. Separate small pouch. Um, I thought maybe hydration, but no. The you know all the buckles and stuff uh, and the D rings really add a lot of weight to it. That's the main source of weight in the whole thing. Not really a padded bottom, but reinforced. Interesting little pack. I like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bite off on the on the cool clips and everything. Um, I'm not sure what I'll use it for right now, but as a day pack, you know, a little hike, it's pretty good. I'm looking for double stitching and padding and all that stuff all around. It, it look, yeah, it's it's well made. Um, I gotta figure out exactly what I'll use it for because I'm not sure right now, um, but it's different, you know, and I, I think it's got some use to it. Let's see what it, terrified I'm gonna break this glass. Uh, let's see, no, nothing here, nothing here. But there's a cool picture of a guy shooting bow and arrow, shooting the uh, takedown bow and arrow. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I wish it wasn't so shiny. Like, I wish this finish matched this finish here. But I guess I'll put this in like it. Um, I, you know, I think it's definitely got potential for use and everything. Uh, I, I'm guessing so you can clip this on here when not being used here, um, just so you don't have this all dangly and stuff. I mean, it doesn't really serve too much other purpose, I, except that I don't know if they're modeling this after a reserve shoot or what. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's an interesting pack. I like it. That's all there's to say about it. Okay, one item left, my favorite. The Pro Plus brings us to the knife of the month. So for $134.95 MSRP, the Boker Mini Quiken designed by Lucas Burnley. Um, I'm pre I just looked at one of these today and said, wow, that's great. I mean, literally just today, I got my hands on one and it was so ultra smooth. I'm really excited. It's so funny how that worked out. Oh, but this is a mini version. This is the mini. This is not the, the one I saw. Um, so. But still. Um, so D2 blade. Uh, I should have, I was just so excited to open it. Um, the fit and finish of this thing is amazing. On the large size I saw, um, you know, it, it just, the bearings, the IKBS on this is amazing. Ooh, I almost just nailed my thumb on that. Um, the fit and finish, like the, the, the leveling of the blade and, and the liners there, 
the finish work on the G10, uh, the metal spacer, it's just, it's amazing. It's so well done. And the action on it is incredible. It's just incredible. It is such a smooth action. And then if we just let it fall on its own, I mean, it, you don't have to do anything to it. And here is the full size compared to the mini, so we can look at it. It's interesting, the clip is the exact same size. Oh, the full size is so much better though. So much better. Full size in VG10, the mini in D2. I think I'd rather have a VG10 blade than a D2. Another very nicely finished knife, nice and smooth. No effort there, and we'll slice it. Blade doesn't even, I mean, it hardly moves here. I'll do this one in slow-mo just because I like doing it. See if you can see where the blade moves. It, it basically doesn't, it. It, just, it just cuts right through. Um, I, like the, I like the weight and the feel of the large size, but this is a very EDC friendly size. Um, and you can, I mean, here's light switch. No, sorry, that was push button, and here's light switch, and they're basically the same thing on this knife because of the, the size and shape of the flipper. And this is the kind of knife that you can just sit around when you're bored and just flip it and just let it go over and over and over. Awesome. Um, this is a really nice knife. Like, I, you know, I was, I was just saying, as I was messing with large size, how much I wanted one, and then it was kind of a shock that here's this in BattleBox today. So this is pretty cool. As to the price tag, I don't know right now because you know I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, I'll see if the uh, the neck knife and this end up on the influencer page. You know, if I can find them for a good price on Amazon, then I will add them to my influencer page under video reviewed knives. This one is probably gonna go on my list of favorite folding knives though, just because it's it's just such a well engineered, just flipping around. I mean, I still have to carry it, but I know I love this knife already. Size, shape, weight, everything about it. It's just really comfortable. Yeah. So this is obviously going and I like it. And that's everything in this month's box. All right, so at the end of the day, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 items all together. You know, these two went together, these two went together. Um, we had zero don't like it items, actually. We had two men, all right? We had the magazine and we had uh, Larry Jr. But we had, you know, if we're gonna, I'm gonna count these together, right? Because they really wouldn't do, this wouldn't do anything without this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, this wouldn't do much without this, but I mean, oh, and then eight, and then the pack, sorry. In like it. So I think this is a pretty good box. When I put some of these things uh, on my, my influencer list, um, I'm going to try to put this in the, the tactical and field gear, see what I can find it for, if I can find a similar product on Amazon for less, we'll see how it goes, things like this, the knives, um, whatnot, uh, you know, we'll see what I find. Um, but I, I like this box. Um, this was a pretty good box overall, so now it's, what do you guys think? I have to give a big shout out to Dave, without which this video would not happen, because I would not have power for the camera, um, with a very cool little USB power bank that's connected to it right now. Um, so yay, everybody thank him. So Pantera Marin 1 on YouTube. Uh, so everybody drop a comment, say thanks, because this would have been a very delayed video otherwise without it. Uh, and in the Discord server as well. Uh, thanks. Uh, but yeah, what is everybody, what's everybody thinking about this box? I, I think these are some of the niftiest things since sliced bread. And sliced bread, let's face it, isn't all that nifty. You got a loaf of bread and a knife, yay. But these are cool. Uh, this knife is awesome. I think this is just a cool box. I'm, I'm happy with it. Happier than I have been with, with some of the other boxes lately. So now it's your turn, guys. Discuss. Um, all right. So check the links for all the usual stuff. I'll see what from here I put on the influencer page. You guys have really been using that influencer page. I guess you really did want me to make it. So yeah, I'm glad you guys are using it and like it. And I'll keep adding stuff to it. All right. So I got lots more to do. I'm going to uh, rush to get this edited and up as soon as possible. It's Thursday. I'm hoping you're going to see it by Friday tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see if I can make that happen. So in the meantime, remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome.
I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.